Breaking Bad Season 3, Episode Number 3. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Breaking Bad last week. Episode 2, the way we ended it. My man, Gus, coming in with the save, dude. I, I'm excited to explore how much you know connections or control gus really has because being able to control the cartel like that he's got to be a big player even over there i mean we know we i know we saw um on the little map hank had brought out that he moved the meth kind of around where they're at into different cities and stuff but i didn't know he was moving stuff across the border like that but i mean i guess when you buy as much as he does and you buy it in bulk like that it kind of makes sense that he is a big fish in the game like this you know we're getting to really see kind of how big the world is in a sense, right? Because thinking back to season one, you know, the first episode when we see Walter go bust Jesse, obviously he escapes and, you know, that's kind of how, or when we see Hank go bust Jesse, um, we see him kind of escape and that's how him and Walter meet up and everything like that. We see these two cooking meth a little bit. We see Jesse uses chili powder. We see Wal knows how to actually make it super pure. We're like, damn, Walt's super good. And then we slowly start to see the world expand more and more. You know, we had Crazy Eight, we had Emilio, we had Tuco, we have, you know, the cartel in this now. We see Gus, like we see all these different players. We see Jesse and them trying to move into different territory and getting killed. We see how big the world really is and how much of an impact, you know, Walt's kind of step into the game had. I feel like, like, I mean, I feel like there's, you know, we saw that one episode toward the end where Walt, you know, he was going through all fixing his house and stuff like that, constantly going back and forth to the store. And at the end, we kind of see those two guys that were going to uh, be cooking meth too. You know, I wonder how many of those guys are actually out there, you know, because you think about it, Walt, and Jesse kind of got into this and they made a big splash in the game. I feel like I wonder how many small time guys are out there that kind of don't become anything because while he's like their situation, I feel like is just different, man, him and Jesse, the way everything happened, the different things they've tried. They had crazy eight. They had Tuco. They tried distributing, distributing themselves. And then now they're going through Gus. And obviously now he's trying to step out of the game. Like it's been a fucking roller coaster, man. And this show just it feels like it's going to pick up and up and up and up all the way until the end. But guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, to be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. I do classes of hombre in this world. This tortuga? Toman y los que sirven. Cállate llena mi copa. Is this tortuga? Is this a flashback? ¿Qué te trae este culo de burro pueblo? Sabía que tú estarías aquí. Óyeme, ¿no tienes que entregar algo? Vas a llegar tarde, ¿no? No, hay mucho tiempo. Tortuga. Comienza despacio, pero siempre <laughs> termina primero. Sí. Yep, tells that to everybody. Is this right before he got killed? Este pueblo culo de burro, a traerte un regalo. Regalo. No necesita molestarte, jefe. This must be Lo when he kills him, huh? In the back, bro. Anytime they say that, come on. Oh hell, he, bro. He's a back there. I really gotta go. This must be when he got killed, huh? Yep. Cut his head off and put it on it. Oh shit. Oh, and the twins did it. Oh my god. Damn. Bro, the twins. So we're getting to see a little, you know. A little bit about who they are, what they are, that they don't they don't play, man. They mean business. Bro, had Gus not hit them up, they would have killed Walt right when he came out. No talking, nothing. Oh my god. That dude, oh my god. And not only that, Walt moved back into the house too. This is so awkward, bro. Not only awkward, but bad. This is just gonna make things worse. By the looks of him, he has no idea how close he came. To death, literally. I'm assuming Saul Goodman doesn't need to know. 
Mm -hmm. Comes the word. He must be talking to Gus. Yep. She's just sitting here vibing too, man, dude. This is gonna be another explosion. Walt, are you in the house? Yep. Oh, hey, Skyler. Yeah, that's me. It? What, what the hell are you doing in there? I'm back. No, no, you're not back. Walt, you're not back. Get, get, get out of there. Well, it's it's my house too, Skyler. No, I'm staying. Bro, this is so awkward. I am not coming in there until you get out. Well, suit yourself. Bro, what? Oh my god, dude. Oh, this is gonna cause so many more problems. But I mean, it's after it's after what Saul told him last episode, right? He, you know, he thinks she's bluffing. And he's gonna use that to his advantage now. We're getting a divorce. I don't agree to a divorce. Well, it's not up to you! If you don't get out of here right now, I'm gonna call the police and I'm going to tell them. He's gonna pull his card. No, no, it's not it, it's not exactly it's um it's a domestic issue. She's not reporting the drugs. This family is everything to me. Without it, I have nothing to lose. Fine. Mm. Dude, this is so fucking tense. My heart. These just grain papers. She doesn't want it. She's not going to tell him. Look how nervous she is, man. Bro, like Walter, dude. Oh my gosh. Like I, 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 dude, savage, but like fucked up. Dad's here. Right. Oh Dad. no. How are you? Oh. Are Are you back for good? Why well, Why are you home so soon? I I'm not. Mom, can't can't wait. I haven't seen Dad in like forever. Oh, dude, she's not going to be able to do it, especially in front of him. Dude, this is so awful, man. Again, like, I feel bad for Skylar, too. Like, I get it. You called the cops on Dad? Oh, oh my God. That's going to make their relationship even worse, too. Did he strike you? No. Has he ever hit you? No, this is not about violence. This is about trespassing. But it's his house, too. It's not a good thing. Excuse me. I got her, honey. Oh, but, this is just a shitty situation, man. Is it possible maybe he's broken any laws that you know of? Anything oh, else? see, he's digging Anything deep. Anything we can work with here, just tell me. You need She's to at, he's asking her straight up. Can work with that. I'll get him out of the house for you. What's your take on all this? It, She's it's not going to. It's fault. I... Wow. She, she won't even say what my dad did, and it's because he, he, he didn't do anything. Yeah, dude, Saul's right. She's not willing to do it. I think it, it, it was also because, you know, Walter Jr. was there. If he wasn't there, I think maybe she would have. But even then, I feel like, I don't know, there's a good chance she wouldn't have. Why you got to Why you gotta do this to dad? Junior, wait, come on. Man. Don't blame your mother for this. I don't think there's any fixing their relationship, man. I really don't. That was one hell of a start to the episode. That was 20 minutes of fucking tenseness, bro. Like, oh my gosh, that is insane. Who is he calling? Was he listening to Jane's voicemail, maybe? Remember the other day when I brought up the idea of you getting back in touch with your uh, partner? Well, I kind of wanted to refloat that boat. <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you yourself get back to cooking. I mean, you being in rehab and all. I only want you to convince the master chef to do his thing. So, what do you say? Your house poor. You got no bankroll. If you get the maestro cooking again, I'll make it worth your while. He'll give him some money for it. He doesn't even got to be the one cooking. So, I mean, Walt made Saul a lot of money, so he wants him back in the business, bruh. You know what I mean? He was making him some good money. I, I mean, I'm sure Saul's got a lot of other clients, but... Yep, figured he was listening to her voicemail, man. It's <sighs> he lost somebody he loves, man. You know, he he really cared for her. She really cared for him. 
I feel bad for him because, you know, he's he's in a situation in his life where he's kind of not really close, close with anybody unless you consider Walt. But even then, it's like Walt's kind of using him. So it's not he's not really close, close with anyone. He was with her and then she gets taken like that. <sighs> El Paso wants me back. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's, man, that's fantastic. You want to go back there, Inc? Yeah. Maybe he's going to start having PTSD again. He don't want to go back. He just putting on that fake gimmick, man. You know, he's probably nervous about going back. Not only that, not only because of what happened, but it also just seemed like he didn't enjoy it as much. Not as much as he enjoys where he's at now. Oh, God. Oh, are they going to steal this to get T.O.? Yep, it's got to be T.O. Yeah, motherfucker look fly too. Look at him. God damn. OG OG. What are we meeting up with? Dude, from the start, that had Tortuga killed. Oh, they're all meeting with Saul. That's what's going on. Or not Saul, they're all meeting with Gus. Dude, is he gonna have to try and negotiate them? Negotiate a deal with them where they don't kill Walt. No había razón por creer que ese hombre era pendiente tuyo. Pues sí, me importa. Entonces estás trabajando con este Heisenberg. No lo conozco por ese nombre, pero sí. Nunca he escondido eh, que siempre y conduce o negocios con ciertos proveedores. Mira, don Salamanca tenía un sobrino que se llamaba Tuco. Sí, sabía de él. Of course he knew him. Este Heisenberg, Walter White, era uno de los proveedores locales de Tuco, hasta que traicionó a Tuco. Ya sabes, la sangre se paga con mm. sangre. Los primos de Tuco tienen derecho Those a... Those cousins. Cuando nuestros negocios se terminen, no me importará lo que hagan con él. Hasta entonces, lo necesito vivir. Bro, you know Gus has pull if he can tell the cartel that he wants to keep him alive and, you know, tell him the cartel basically they can't kill someone. Especially someone they want revenge on. ¿Acaso mm -hmm. no manejo mi propio territorio? Pues claro que sí. Les aconsejaré que tengan paciencia. Pero te recomiendo que termines tu negocio con este hombre rápidamente. Mm -hmm. Tienes que perder el apoyo del cartel. Eso wow. sería imprudente. ¿Y esos chamacos que están ahí adentro? No puedo garantizar que pongan atención. Ellos no son como tú y yo. They're not businessmen. They just want blood. Oh, savages, man. Look at them. Of course, they're related to Tuco. Could you imagine Tuco interacting with them? How crazy high energy he is in comparison to them who just don't talk or say anything. I wonder if we're ever going to hear him speak. Hey, if you're trying to tell me something, I've got four little words for you. Do not call this. However, if you're cool, leave it to me. He's stuck, man. Feel for him, I really do. Mm, she out here smoking again regularly. Yeah, it'll do it. At least she ain't pregnant no more. Mm, Skyler, it's Walt. No? Skyler, can I use the bathroom? It. He just wants to get in the room so he can hold Holly. Try and be of some help. He's trying to be more attentive, like he was telling the cop, right? Trying to get back in good graces, dude. I really don't know if he can repair this. You know, she's smoking. Bruh. This dude really about to just piss in the sink. Do they not have another... Do they not have another bathroom in the house other than the one in his... Bedroom? I, I, was, I was so close. She can't... So she can't even what? tell her. I'm bound by the attorney-client privilege to keep everything you tell me a secret. I can't tell a soul unless you authorize me to. Just like how, uh, just like with Saul, man, you know, those privileges, they can't talk. Your husband's a drug dealer. A manufacturer, technically, they, um, yeah. they, they call them cooks. <laughs> I looked it up on the internet. She looked into it. This is my it. advice, and you should take it. Sue your husband for divorce immediately. Let me go to the police and tell them what you just told me. She's not going to do it. I wonder if she's even thinking about what, what would happen. In the end, it may not be up to you. 
drug yeah. dealers have a way of getting caught. It might come out eventually, but at least it won't be from her. Walt has lung cancer. I can't see why I should lay all this on my family when if he's on a made clock anyway. Resolve themselves on their own. If he ends up just dying. He had that surgery though, didn't he? I mean, I guess we never had the follow-up appointment to it really yet, right? Come on, man, I'd be dying to get back in the action. Yeah, well, it's, it's not like there's nothing going on up here. What are you talking about? Hey, Jack going on up here. It's quiet as hell. Hank's got that PTSD, man, thinking about going back to El Paso. He doesn't want to say no and turn it down. Take her home. Man, in this place, the bartender's probably holding. Yep. What do you think? Why can't we handle a couple of dirt balls? Come on, man. Mm. Courtesy call. The vice is running some kind of undercover off. He just wants some action, man. Let's go. It's your turn to pay. He just wanted some action. Yeah, he was waiting for them to strike first. Damn. Everybody coming out like, damn. Hank, he's normally the comedic side, but he's got the serious side to him too. Bro, he was bashing his skull in. Did he kill him? Hank just wanted some smoke, man. God, dude, it's just so crazy. You know, I'm not used to seeing Hank so fired up and all. Hey, like, I just finished watching Daredevil episode 10 of season one, seeing Foggy all serious, a character that's normally the comedic relief, and now seeing Hank so serious, normally the comedic relief. But, you know, the, every character in the show has layers to him. Oh, it's inactive now. Wow. Now he can't even hear her voice no more. It's going to take Jesse a minute to get out of this. You know, he might not ever fully recover from it. Jesse come out here on his own? Bro, this place is so organized. Bro, that RV looks so organized compared to like, when was the last time we saw it? When they did the weekend cook? Where they cooked the full like 39 pounds? Oh, shit. Skyler. Can we talk? He's showing her all the money he made. She don't want no drug money, though, I don't think, man. But, I mean, that's one way to get her attention, right? We're hanging back. We saw a deal go down. I went outside to call it in. You stayed to keep an eye on the suspects. That's when they attacked you. Covering for him. What I didn't tell him is that you left your gun under the seat before you went back inside. Because he was planning to. You don't want nothing to happen with it. Maybe he's doing it so so he, that he doesn't have to go back to El Paso, kind of get the promotion taken away. Is college tuition for Walter Jr. And Holly, 18 years down the road. <laughs> Trying to show what his intentions were. That money is for this roof over your head. The mortgage that you are not going to be able to afford on a part-time bookkeeper's salary when I'm gone. Walt, I... Please. Please. He's getting it all out, you know, because this was this is what he planned out originally back in season one. I didn't steal it. It doesn't belong to anyone else. I earned it. Bro, don't even tell her about the people you killed. I'll be here when you get home from work. You can give me your answer then. Man, oh, dude, I don't know what she's going to do. I mean, maybe thinking about the kids and stuff in the future, but I don't think she wants drug money, man. I mean, don't tell her about the people you had to kill. Say that much, man. She's going to end up getting with him, huh? Oh. Yep. Yeah, I guess there is no repairing that bridge. Oh. <laughs> Bro, the face she made in the back. You could see her go raise her eyebrows. She went. Oh. <laughs> Bro. Damn. 
this is just such a shitty situation. Like, I feel like there's no good outcome that can come from any of this, man. There's not. What's done is done on everybody's end. Like, uh, dude, it sucks because, you know, thinking back to season one, Walt had good intentions, but it's also like, man, the things he had to do. Oh. oh. This friend? Hey, Lewis. Hey, guys, thanks mm. for having me over for dinner. Um, oh. sure. Hey, Skylar. He's trying to get in as much good graces as he can. He's trying to get in as much safety nets as he can, I feel like. I just want to say that I... I feel good about our talk this morning and the number of Oh my god, bro. Thinking. She looked like she's about to burst. About what we talked about. But, you know, whenever you're ready, then, of course. Bro, she looks so... She looks like she's about to explode. I thought Ted. Damn. You know, she did that just to fucking, she, she did that just to fuck with him, too. Oh, my God. Really? I'll be like sad, but. I mean, maybe it's her way of getting him out of there, too, permanently to get him to actually leave. Maybe he's going to just become Heisenberg and say, fuck it, bro. My God. Dude, this episode. Oh, my God, man. This episode, I, I felt so tense. Like, oh my god, I think the whole episode I was fucking tense the hell up, man. Like, season three, episode three of Breaking Bad is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what to say, man. I don't think I've ever, ever felt more tense watching an episode of any TV show in my life. Like, this entire fucking episode, bro, the first 15 minutes of it, 20 minutes of just Walt being in the house, bro, like... I, I don't know, like, if it's second and, like, not even embarrassment, because it's not like you're embarrassed. It's just, like, awkwardness, bro. Like, you feel it through the screen. They This show just does such a fucking amazing job at everything it tries to convey. It does it perfectly. Like, I feel like you feel every emotion. You feel the tens tense moments. You feel, you know, everything from it. It's insane. And, oh, man. Like, it's so crazy each, you know kind of part of the story every different character is in right now because like right now you have jesse and it's like somebody who's going through some deep shit and it's it's like we when we're when we're on that storyline it's like you know this whole episode i think other than him talking to saul was just him you know listening to the voicemail jane jane's voicemail and like every time just you hear him play it again and again and it's like it never gets better you know what i mean that's why i say all the time whenever i see you know, something like this in a show or a movie where you lose somebody close to you, like, you, you know, in, in, people say it gets easier with time and shit, but it, re it really doesn't, man. You know what I mean? Like, and for Jesse, like, I mean, with time, he, he might learn to move on and whatnot, but it, it, it don't ever get easier, man. And I feel for him. I feel for where he's at right now, you know? I don't know how many episodes or how many days exactly it's been since uh, her passing but i think he was in rehab he had, he had the 45 day chip for rehab so it's been at least 45 days minimum probably closer to like 50 since it happened you know but i, I feel for jesse man i feel for everything he's going through he, he he didn't have anybody that really cared about him then he met jane he cared about her she cared about him and you know he, he blames himself for her death because he got her back into it in at the end of the day, that's what it is, you know? It, it sucks. I feel for him. I don't know how... Like, I, I, this is a show that I don't predict stuff for, really. You know what I mean? Sometimes in the heat of the moment, I will. But, like, with movies and shows, sometimes I predict where the story's going. This, I don't know. I don't know where Jesse's story going. I don't know if he's going to go back to using. I don't know if he's just going to cook and that's it. Like, at the end of the episode, seeing him back in the lab, maybe he's going to cook by himself and just really hone in on that and try and make as much money as he can so he can have freedom. You know, I don't know if Walt and Skylar are getting back together, quite frankly. Before, I already felt like that bridge was burned, you know, just after everything with Walt. But now that she did that with Ted and she said it to him and everything, there's like no way in hell that is ever being repaired, I feel like, man, you know. And it's fucked up because, like, I get what Walt did. Like, this is the thing. I get what Walt did was wrong you know, lying and everything, but he had good intentions. Skylar specifically did it to fuck with Walt and hurt him, you know, which I get she just wants him out of her life, so she's probably thinking, I'm just going to do this, I'm going to tell him, and he'll leave, 
You know what I mean? But it's also like, you got to think about your kids too a little bit. I don't know. It's a tough situation, especially because the kids are involved, man. You know, and it sucks because it's like each of them are using the kids as a weapon. You know, she just didn't want him to see them. And now he's keeping them around so that she can't have her, you know, kind of burst of anger or whatever. It seems like she wants to just let out, like having Lewis there for dinner. Oh, I, I don't know. At the end there, I, I, I don't know. It felt like he was either going to snap. He, I don't know, man. Maybe that's just the look of like, I'm done. Maybe he's going to completely become Eisenberg now and just go for it. But oh my god, man, this is one hell of a show. And I just, dude, thinking back to season one, season two, and now to season three, it's gotten better and better. But then thinking back to season one, I'm still like, god damn, that was some prime stuff. And I do miss it. Like, I miss the Tuco kind of show arc when he was around. It's it just the, the show does such a good job of mixing things up and keeping it kind of fresh and the storyline's good, but. Another fantastic episode of Breaking Bad is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction. It'll be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.